hey guys i hope you're all well welcome back to my youtube channel and i wanted to do a little kids wear haul today uh coming back from a while of not posting with something a bit different but everyone on instagram always says how much they love the children's swear stuff um and i thought you guys might find it helpful so i'm gonna do margot and barney because i've got stuff for both of them for like autumn winter um so lots of different brands and um obviously like older girl a 19 month old girl and three month old boy but he's in naught to three still because he's teeny weeny because he was born early two months early actually um so yeah i've got everything to show you guys i'm going to start with my fave brand which is i am biased because my mum knits these and she does sell them actually but she knits margot margot's got the best collection so my mum knits these cardigans so i'll link her instagram if you want to order a homemade cardigan and barney's got a blue one actually as well i should have got that to show you so cute for newborns um so she's knitted her this lilac one for autumn winter and this multicolored one which is literally insane this rainbow multicolored dream it's so cute i'll try and remember to put pictures in of her in anything that she's already worn um because something she has and something she hasn't but i'm literally obsessed and she has actually got a blue one too um but it's not the bobble one it's like a cable knit with a zip so it's more like a jacket um but i just i love my mum's knitting i feel like they're such special pieces um so I had to show you that first and I've just got a pile of stuff so it's, it's not going to be necessarily in like brand order no I am going to do it in brand order I'm just going to not be lazy so um, these are things that she got before summer at the end of last autumn but they still fit her and she's only really just starting to wear them because of the weather um, so this little vest which I'm obsessed with and she literally wears all the time now because I feel like this weather it's perfect for this kind of thing because she doesn't necessarily need a coat, but with this and a jumper, she is perfectly warm. Um, it's got like these little flowers on it, and they're doing lots of different prints, and it's from Lywood. Love that brand so much for outerwear and pyjamas and things. Um, and toy, like they just do really nice stuff. Um, and they also sent her this little jacket um, from last, from at the same time. Um, and they do it in lots of different colours. They do it in navy, which I was tempted to get. But I feel like I would put Barney in this when he's older anyway. Like, boys can wear yellow. Um, so, yeah, cute little quilted jacket. Again, really good for this time of year um, and this weather. Like, it's quite a lightweight jacket. I'm obsessed. I kind of want one myself. Then, more recently, they sent her these wellies, which I'm obsessed with. And I don't think she's going to be puddle jumping in them because I feel like they're too nice. Um, so they are like Borg furry lined and they're like little cute Chelsea boots and I feel like they'll be perfect for um, just like as her winter boots so I don't think I'm going to get her winter boots I think these are just going to be her winter boots and then I've ordered some cheap wellies that are higher up for like puddle splashing and stuff because she's starting forest school soon which I am very excited about then they sent her a jacket just recently which is perfect or more of a coat for um like more colder weather which i'm sure we'll be getting soon and it's really lightweight um like puffer jacket but it's really really warm and it's got a hood and it's a lovely color that's going to go with everything and it matches the boots and I just think it's adorable and the poppers make it easy for her too then they also sent some bits of barnaby and um, and they sent this so this sleep sleep this like puddle or whatever you want to call it snowsuit now this is six months and it's quite big six months actually so i don't know if he'll probably be wearing this more towards the end of winter because i think it might be a bit big for him at the moment um but it's so cute it's got like a little bit at the back too and you can get this up to i think um margot's age so if you're looking for something like this for them you can and it's got detachable booties as well that are like gripped on the bottom um and detachable gloves and i love things that i've got detachable gloves because then you can use the gloves when they're not wearing it too and the hat is also detachable so that is very cute and they both were very very spoiled by lywood so he also got sent some pjs and if you are looking for a gift for someone this is such a nice gift because they come in such a nice box inside somewhat onesie um so yeah if you're looking to get someone a gift they do really nice onesies like newborns and things and they do them in pyjamas for like Margot's age too. So 
got this one, which is so cute. It's got like moons and clouds and rain and stars. And I love the colour. Um, it's got that onesie. It's just the most amazing quality. And they do them with and without feet. But Barney is really tall. And we had the same problem with Margot. So we've gone for ones with no feet. Because um, they'll last him longer. Whereas the ones with feet just... Honestly, I swear, within days they just are too short for him. And then I've got this one too. Which is a very cute little brown colour with OT coloured dogs. Adorable. And they've got like dinosaur ones and truck ones. But they're kind of like, as you can tell by these prints, they're like classy dinosaur ones. Do you know what I mean? Like fun but classy. So then we also got some bits from Arquette for both of them. So I'll do Barney's bits first this time. So he's got this most gorgeous knitted set. So it's like a little kind of oatmeal. Was it like a light grey knitted set? Knitted trousers and cardigan. So you can wear them together or separate, obviously. Um, I think that's so cute and cosy. Like, he's going to be so cosy in that in winter. And then, and all of these go up to Margot's age too. I think she's, like, on the cusp of being a child. Um, she's, like, on the cusp of the baby and the child section. So she can kind of get away with both. Uh, and then I got him a little hat, which I just think is the coolest little hat. Like, he's going to be such a cool dude. My children are so much cooler than me. And then... Some socks, just feel like you can never have enough baby socks, and they're really nice colours and quality. Just, I've just got a thing for baby socks, they're so cute. Then a little sweatshirt. I just, can you just cope with these? Can you even cope? They're so cute. Just picture him in this. Just, I can't with the knitted trousers. This little boiler suit, and I actually got Margot one, but I need to find it. It's um. I got her some Morrison, so it's obviously nowhere near as nice as this. But you can get this in the bigger sizes. Then, Margot's got so much outerwear, guys. I didn't realise how much she's got. So, from Arquette, she also got this jacket. Very cute little jacket. Um, this, again, is quite lightweight. But I feel like it will be really warm, too. And it comes with matching trousers. So, on a cold day, this will be perfect for forest school. And then she's got the cutest coat. Arquette really spoiled them. This coat. Can you even cope? It's so cute. And then I also got her a couple of bits from Zara. I did get her some other things, but they are in the wash. Um, did I? Or did I just get one thing? I've ordered some more, but they're not here yet. Um, and then I also got her some dungarees that are like floral and really cute, but they're in the wash. And then I just got her these because I just think they're really cool. Like knitted dungarees. Um, and I just love kids and dungarees. I just think it's really cute and um, less likely to fall down. Um, and you can wear it like a t-shirt or long sleeve top. Or like just often I'll just put a jumper on and then it, it looks like trousers. Um, and I've ordered her the coolest trainers from Nike. I'll put a picture in. Um, they're quite boyish but I feel like she can rock that kind of vibe. <laughs> I think my daughter is the coolest person, if you had no gist. Uh, and then I also got her this t-shirt because it was on special prices. And I just thought it was really cool. I really like the colours. And it kind of goes with the floral dungarees. Um, and I just I just get her things that I think I would wear. They've both got some bits from Mamas and Papas. Now Margot's already worn both of her things. And they're in the wash now. So she got some really lovely blouses. Now I actually only thought Mamas and Papas did like small baby stuff. But they don't. They do big baby too. Barney got spoilt, so we got this little striped long sleeve t-shirt, which I actually wish they did in my size. I really love the fact that stripes go the other way. Mamas and Papas do the nicest stuff, you guys, especially for boys. Like, they do do nice girl stuff, but I feel like quite a lot of places do nice girl stuff. Whereas I feel like finding nice baby boy clothes is quite hard. Um, I feel like Arquette, Mamas and Papas, and Zara are my top places and then he also got some sets but I don't know how much he can wear these sets because he's got a hernia in his belly button which is quite common apparently with premature babies and they say it doesn't bother them but I can tell it does bother him and so the waistbands these waistbands are not great um so I don't know what I'm going to do about that because it's a bit disappointed. Um, I might have to just like snip them and then make them into like braces or something. I don't know. Um, but these ones are so cute with little elephants on. 
I saw these in the store when I went to Ikea like a month or so ago and I was obsessed. Um, but I didn't know what I had for him so I, I didn't want to buy anything there because I wanted to make sure I went home and had a look like what I'd got in what sizes. Then this next set is like a really nice ribbed vest and I really like that it's got these little wooden buttons. I think it's really cute. And then they come with matching trousers and all the trousers have got the feet built in. Um, and these are 0 to 3 and they're actually a really decent size. So I know I said before about him being really tall. Um, but these ones are, have not been an issue yet. So they're very decent sizing. So I think he'll be wearing those for a while. Then just got some trousers, some really cute ones. And these will be perfect for his belly button too because you can fold them up. So it's not too heavy or like thick and pressure on his belly button. Even like that it's not. Um, and they're just really cute. I feel like they look really nice. It's like a mix and match situation with this striped top. I love a baby in stripes if you can tell. And then I got him this little um, onesie. I feel like on site it might have said knitted, but maybe I didn't go. There was two that were really similar, so I obviously didn't go for the knitted one. But yeah, it's so cute. It's like navy, and then it's got these little wooden buttons down the middle. Then I've just remembered I've got another package that came yesterday for them. These children, their PR packages are better than mine. So... A onesie for him, which I'll show you in a second because he's actually got it on. He wore it last night, so it's out. Their onesies are the softest, 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 softest onesies ever. And they also do in nice pyjamas. For Margot's age, and she loves hers and sleeps so well in them. And they're so soft and cosy, like ridiculously soft. So I've got her another pair. So she's got these. Just really cute little PJs. I've got them in grey because she's already got the pink and white stripe. Simple PJs. And then, I actually only thought they did like sleep stuff and I noticed that they don't, they do other stuff. And so I got Barney this really cute cable knit jumper, can you even cope? And I got that in three to six months because I thought, it's a matter of jumpers are a bit oversized and I can roll the sleeves up and then it will last him a bit longer because it's such a nice, really good quality jumper. I didn't want to um, just get it and he wouldn't be able to wear it for long. They do quite a lot of really nice knitwear on there actually. So it's really worth a look if you're looking for some nice jumpers and things. And then also got him some little booties. I can't cope. Um, and I feel like things like this are so necessary when you have them in the baby Bjorn carrier. Because I feel like with just socks on their feet must get freezing. And this is the other one see. It's a bit big on him still but it's so cute. It's so soft. It's like got really nice like blue and dark blue and light blue stripes and he's got it in navy and white stripe too which I love I actually think I prefer the navy and white but they're both gorgeous and so ridiculously soft and they've got zips so they're really quick and easy for changing and they've got a zip on the bottom of the leg too so you can just unzip and get to the business end to change uh, and they've also got built in scratch mitts so if you need to do that then you can I'm not a big fan of scratch mitts, to be honest, even though I just scratch his face, but I just don't like the idea. I feel like his hands must get so clammy, um, unless it's really cold, and then I'm like, put them on. Um, but yeah, very cute. He is growing so well and doing so amazingly well. So proud of him. And he's like smiling all the time now too. He's like not smiling before, but um, he's smiling loads. And his age is, his seven weeks corrected, so... I don't really know what to expect from him, but they were like, go by what his due date would be, so that if he doesn't do anything, like, when he should be doing it, then you're not kind of upset, do you know what I mean? And so they said, like, aim for that, but he might do it before, so we're not expecting too much from him, but we're getting some lovely smiles, which we are very much enjoying. And I feel like seven weeks is, like, what you would expect a smile. I can't really... I think Margot took ages to smile, and then even when she did, it was like she rarely smiled, whereas he's constantly, like, <laughs> he does a cuter smile. Um, but, yeah, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I've gone on for ages. I can't believe how many clothes my children have been sent. They are spoiled. <laughs> um, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.